Hello, my name is Nicholas McKay, and I run the newsletter, podcast, and website eclecticspacewalk.com. I'm a former journalist turned writer and poet, former broadcaster and presenter turned producer and filmmaker. I'm applying to become a citizen astronaut with Space for Humanity to experience the overview effect, as well as spearheading a long-lasting, diverse, and globally inclusive social impact venture, creating partnerships in government, the private sector, and civil society. Please help me make this dream become a reality. Since I was a kid, I've dreamed of going to space. At first, it was to be a bona fide NASA astronaut, but that initial plan has evolved over the years. Space was never too far away, with the ovary effect being an unconscious thread throughout my life, until it became conscious after reading Buckminster Fuller's Operating Manual for Spaceship Earth and watching the documentary Overview in 2013. After moving to California, I immediately began volunteering for two nonprofits in the space industry, helping out with their social media. Through Spaceport LA, I attended the Juno orbital insertion around Jupiter NASA Social at Jet Propulsion Laboratory. I also led a discussion roundtable with Mars Curiosity Rover project manager, Bobak Ferdowsi, with some of our members. Through Mars City Design, I was able to help successfully launch our first design workshop Kickstarter campaign. After submitting our application, we were selected as a finalist for Singularity University's Global Grand Challenge Space Award. Later, I took my desire to get into orbit a bit more seriously after rubbing shoulders with people also interested in space, even Buzz Aldrin, at the Mars City Design Award event. I applied and was accepted as a crew journalist for a Mars analog simulation mission at the Mars Desert Research Station put on by the Mars Society. Even doing the voiceover for the Riot News 360 degree short film they filmed and produced. As humans, we've never been totally content with our place in the cosmos. Gazing at the stars, fixated on one pale red dot in particular. I began creating space media and strengthening my storyteller's voice. I even interviewed Dr. Christine Corbett Moran when she was one of NASA's 50 finalists for the astronaut program. Then, before starting my own venture, I helped film and produce a short for the Space Channel called Space Tourism on a Plate, about the different foods you would be able to cook grown on Mars. The overview effect is becoming even more a part of the global cultural lexicon due to society's innate yearning to connect with their fellow human. Did you know that there are around 7,000 ways to say our most human a verbal greeting? If you learn the world's 50 most popular languages, then you could say hello to about 80% of the world's population. That is my ultimate goal after experiencing the overview effect with Space for Humanity, as well as meeting with as many people from around the world to commune in our shared humanity and speak about what it's like to see the Earth from space. I dream about bringing my technical expertise of producing, together with my artistic skills of storytelling, anchored in my childhood-like curiosity and amazement of our place in the cosmos. Eclectic Spacewalk means a broad and diverse range of Earth-based philosophies viewed from outer space. It should become apparent that the overview effect is a central tenet to our philosophy and regarded as one of, if not the, most important heuristic in seeing the world today. I finish each podcast episode with a reverse hypothetical question regarding the overview effect by letting the guest imagine what type of wisdom they would impart on the world if they were experiencing the cognitive shift and had an opportunity to speak to the world. We're more alike than different and we get caught up on external, the, the external of our physicality to separate us. And in doing that, that makes us not see the the whole world in the connectedness that we are mm -hmm. and it separates us and creates this division and i feel like as human beings we haven't learned from our history and our past and we're still fighting over the same things that we've been fighting over since the dawn of man and it's halting 
our progress from us being the super beings that we could actually be. We're both, I think, deeply noble beings, mm. you know, but at the same time, deeply vulnerable beings. Mm, very good and uh, much of the, the challenge of, of human life, which I hope philosophy can help us, you know, grapple with and figure out is to how to be both of those things. Let the machines have the jobs to make knowledge work universal. That's good. To make it accessible to everyone who wants to do it, basically. We are absolute bastards and we live in hell, and we have the moral and intellectual capability to improve in our conditions and our natures. And with effort, we can improve. Don't look up. Look around and find your fellow human beings. Find your tribe. Find your friends, family, people whom you truly care for and show that you care because it is the mutually caring relationships that is the foundation from which we can build the new world. You know, one of the biggest qualities I, I appreciate in people is their ability to listen to someone else. Mm. Uh, not just waiting for their turn to speak, but to actually listen and, uh, you know, maybe take a moment to think about what the other person says. And I think it would be a much better world if everybody was doing that, even, you know, trying to do that. You can succeed always, but, you know, uh, think about, try to put yourself in someone else's shoes. And uh, if, you, if you can do that or even try to do that, yeah, we will be fine, I think. Last month marked 19 years since humans have been in space continually. That is the kind of society I want to live in. But only around 500 people out of 10 billion that have ever existed is not a high enough proportion for us to get through our current predicament. If you send me to space to experience the overview effect, I will work tirelessly to help democratize that experience to everyone from around the world through government, the private sector, and civil society partnerships as part of the UN Development Goal 17. In the novel Contact, Dr. Ellie Arroway says, No, no words, no words <laughs> to describe <laughs> poetry. I should have said a poet, so beautiful, beautiful, so so beautiful. I had no idea. Send me to experience the overview effect and be a catalyst for more people to do the same. I will use my diverse expertise, unique skill sets, and second to none work ethic to market the idea of more people experiencing the cognitive shift that will help make societal breakthroughs. I look forward to meeting each and every one of you. This is Nicholas McKay of Eclectic Spacewalk signing off. Ad Astra.